We know MLK, we know Malcolm X, we know Rosa Parks, and we know the iconic Shirley Chisholm. But who are some of the unsung black heroes that we know nothing about? Well, join me this Black History Month as we walk through 28 days learning about 28 who should be iconic, but are unsung black heroes. Hello everyone, I'm Quentin R. Giles, your host of The Q with Q, and welcome to another episode of Unsung Black Heroes. Every day this month, I am going to introduce heroes who have influenced not only the African American community, but the world at large. Today, we will show the life of the first black U.S. Senator, Hiram Rubbles. We will talk about what he did, and at the end of the video, we will discuss how it relates to us today. So let's get educated. Hiram Rhodes Rebels was born a free man in Fayetteville, North Carolina on September 27, 1827. By the age of 17, he moved north to complete his education and attended the Beech Grove Quaker Seminary. In 1845, he was ordained as a minister of the AME Church and served as a preacher throughout most of the Midwest and even served as a chaplain during the Civil War. Rebels was met with contention from Democrats who argued, who argued that his election was invalid and prevented him from being sworn in. Feels oddly familiar. Rebels never took the former senator's seat, but served as a model and inspiration for both his race and those who would serve in public office thereafter. Rebels left the Senate after the term expired in March of 1871. He returned to Mississippi and became the first president of the Alcorn State University, which was the first land-grant school in the U.S. He also served as the state secretary of state after friend James Lynch suddenly passed. Rubbles grew disenchanted with the corruption in the Republican Party and stepped down from his role as the president of Alcorn University. After retiring from politics and teaching, Rubbles returned to church where he continued to preach publicly until his death in 1901. So how does this apply to us? Being that one of the largest issues that African Americans faced post-Civil War was the lack of representation in government, which was key in the newly freed slaves' plan to advance in a post-slavery America. Harold Rubbles was the first African American to serve in the U.S. Senate. Although he only served for one year, his appointment to the U.S. Senate was significant because it reflected progress, although short-lived, showed the success of the Reconstruction Amendments, specifically the 14th Amendment. As such, Rubbles took a moderate approach during his brief time as a U.S. Senator. During his tenure, he continuously advocated for African Americans and made attempts to appeal to his peers about the capacity of African Americans. He was an advocate for civil rights and pushed for equality and the desegregation of schools. Rubbles' selection to represent the state of Mississippi in the U.S. Senate was also significant because he succeeded Jefferson Davis, who also served as the president of the Confederacy nine years prior. As we continue to celebrate Black History Month, it's important to note how the Reconstruction era was very vital for Black people who were able to mobilize their political power. Stay tuned for more Unsung Black Heroes. Give this video a thumbs up if you learned something, subscribe for more, and hit the bell notification so that you are always first in the queue.